Welcome back. You're taking a live look at our pick city. You can see uh, the Canadian side there on the bottom of the screen, Niagara Falls, which of course spills into the lower Niagara River and then the river cuts through the Niagara Gorge. Well, if you've ever hiked there, you know that it can be pretty rugged, but the ecosystem in the gorge is also very fragile. Terry Belke takes us to the outdoors. The Niagara River Gorge is seven miles of primal beauty, a rugged landscape formed over 10,000 years ago. Since the last ice age, it was water and uh, isostatic rebound, which is the movement of the earth after the, the weight of the ice uh, sheets um, was lifted, the, the land kind of lifted up and that's where we get that flow from Lake Erie to, to Lake Ontario. The gorge is a wealth of biodiversity. From plants to mammals, the environment is rich with life, fully connected and reliant on all within the web. All of these systems and all these plants and animals sustain each other and rely on each other for one uh, resource or another. Um, and without those things, uh, without that biodiversity, uh, those systems tend to start functioning uh, improperly or they become out of balance. Bird life is abundant down here all year long, even in the winter. Since it doesn't freeze, the river provides prime habitat for fish-eating birds and attracts thousands of gulls from all across North America. So at any given time, you can find anywhere from 19 to 26 species of gull uh, in the Niagara River in the Gorge, and which, which is roughly half of the species, gull species in, on the North American continent. Um, it, uh, you know, you could have anywhere from 10,000 to 100,000 gulls here, especially during the winter time. The resilience of life in the gorge is all the more remarkable considering the negative effects humanity has had on the ecology. Industrial pollution, land clearing, and the introduction of invasive species have all taken a toll. But though we destroy, we also possess the ability to restore. We've recognized um, in the past, you know, 30, 40, 50 years how important that is. And so, you know, we've really begun to, to put forth efforts to restore and maintain and, and repair those uh, negative effects. A number of groups, both large and small, are working towards sustaining this amazing landscape but it will take all of us together to keep the gorge healthy for generations to come. Here in Western New York, we have this jewel in the gorge and it's, it's up to all of us to respect what it is, what it has been for thousands of years and, and what it will be in the future. Reporting from the Niagara Gorge, taking you to the outdoors, I'm Terry Belke.